Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is something you guys have been requesting for a very, very long time. And finally, we're getting around to it. I'm gonna be giving you guys a beauty room tour. We're gonna be looking at my makeup collection, all my filming equipment, the whole shebang. I hope you guys are excited because it's gonna be a good one. Make sure to go get some snacks, some drinks, and grab a friend because it's gonna be a long video. But I'm excited to finally do this one for you guys. What about you, Prince? You look pretty excited. Are you just as excited as I am? <laughs> All right, let's show them. Come on, guys. So opening the door to my beauty room, you immediately see the filming area and all my filming equipment. I keep it up at all times. It is ugly, but you know, this room is kind of just where I do all my work. No one really else comes in this room. It's a lot of stuff to have to like put away and bring out every single time I have to film a video. So I just keep it out and this is just the studio area. At the back wall here, we have my backdrop and what you guys would normally see behind me in my videos. For the longest while, you guys have only been seeing a plain backdrop behind me and that is because I never had these shelves. I was moving and I didn't have any really pretty background. You guys know I started out with having like my desk and stuff behind me and I really like that look. I think it's cozy and I just wanted to have something other than a plain backdrop behind me. But they aren't ready yet. I don't have them decorated how I want. I just kind of put random stuff on there just for now. I got these fairy lights from Amazon. Same with these star lights. And then here I have my picture with Kim Kardashian. This for sure I'm gonna keep up here. Everything else is kind of just like, maybe, I don't know, I just put it on. I'm so glad I got to meet her. She's so nice and humble and was so, so sweet. I got to meet her at the KKW Beauty launch party and it was just a really good experience and a good memory. So I for sure wanted to hold on to that and frame it because I'm proud. I love her. I also have this customized Libra frame because obviously I'm a Libra and Benefit was so sweet and they gave everyone these on the trip to Utah. So I kept that and I thought it would look really cool behind me in my videos. So right now on my backdrop, I do have a black paper roll but over here on the other side of the wall you see I have very very many options to choose from and I found this sponge organizer you can just stick onto the wall and it just holds the backdrops really really nicely so I found that off Amazon check out the description for things that I briefly pass over I'll try and link as much stuff as I can on there and a lot of the things I honestly don't really remember so I'll have to look into back to the backdrop I have my backdrop stand and this is mostly what I will use in my videos these days I just unroll it and put this light shining back on it and this is when you see that glow behind me I basically got everything from Sammy's camera and with these lights you can adjust the lighting to be bright dim you can also make it warm lighting where it's like more yellow or cool and they're the same lights they're just on different stands so this one's on a really big C stand and then this one is on a really tiny kind of like tripod type thing and then on this corner of the room I have a ring light I usually will bring this out when I have to film around the house or if I need a little bit more lighting that is just there whenever I need extra light. But honestly, all of this equipment is unnecessary. I have just invested over the years and put a lot of the money that I make back into making videos for you guys and I wanted to increase my quality as much as possible, especially with makeup videos. I just wanted to make sure you guys were getting the best quality content. All you need to start out is something like this and a camera. That's how I started and eventually, you know, it grew to everything else. So now let's look at everything basically in the center of the room. So this is the backdrop. This is where I sit facing the camera, facing this way. This is my bar cart that I put everything on, aka my desk. And then this is my camera, the tripod, my monitor, the lights, all the good stuff that I need to film my videos. For my bench, I really love it. It's so cute. I feel like it looks like it takes up less space because there's no back to it, you know? And also, it's really great when I do collabs because two people can fit a bench and you're the same level versus putting two chairs next to each other just takes up a lot of room and it's hard to fit in the frame of the camera. And then my desk here is not actually a desk at all. It's actually a bar cart and I did that just because I found it's not as bulky it also has wheels on the bottom so it makes it very easy to move towards or away from the camera depending on what I need to do you know what looks better in the video so let's get into talking about all the technology and stuff that's right in front of me while I film so behind this giant white diffuser are these two LED lights both of these are very very strong I think they're both on 100 right now you can actually adjust the lighting depending on what you want right here they've got two control panels 
panels. You can also adjust the lighting to be more warm or more cool depending on what you need. And I can actually adjust both those lights with my remote control right here. So right in front of those lights is this giant diffuser on a C stand and attached to that C stand is my monitor. We'll get to that. The diffuser is very necessary for these lights just because they're so bright on their own that it's way too harsh if I didn't have this. The diffuser is gonna soften it and it's also gonna spread the light. You see how the light's going all the way up and around? It kind of spreads it all along the diffuser so I'm getting a nice even light on me. My monitor is Dell. You can really choose whatever monitor. I attach this to my camera and then I can see myself here when I'm filming instead of looking on the tiny little viewfinder on the camera. That is a lifesaver. If you're doing makeup videos, I really recommend attaching your camera to any sort of monitor. It can literally just be a computer monitor because that is how you're going to be able to catch your mistakes. You know, if something looks wonky, it's just so hard to tell in a tiny viewfinder. So many times I filmed videos when I first started out on a tiny viewfinder of my camera. It was either way too yellow, the lighting was off, or I would have like a tiny speck of eyeshadow like smudged on my face and I wouldn't be able to tell until I was done recording and look at my footage on the computer. So this lifesaver, just to be able to see what you're doing so your footage comes out okay. So that is attached by this little contraption right here. Honestly, I don't think it's the best way to attach my monitor because it always slips. I think my monitor is a little bit too heavy for it, so it tends to fall down sometimes, but for now, it's the best way I know how to attach it to my stand. And putting that just on my stand saves a lot of room. I don't have to keep it on my desk. And then right beside the monitor and in front of my desk here, we have my tripod. This is a big, bad tripod. Definitely, it's a little much. You don't need something as crazy big as this. I like to film with a really long 200 millimeter lens. So this is very sturdy. It keeps the camera stable and it's also enough to be able to hold that long ass lens. Right now, the camera's not on there because I was using it to film this video, but it's the Canon 6D Mark II and I love it. So this is what I see when I'm behind my desk and facing my camera, which would normally be right here on top of the tripod. And then this is my Blue Yeti microphone. It's a really, really great microphone. Super crisp, super clear. My voice actually is not being heard through the microphone right now. Obviously, it's not on. I'm using my vlog camera. But you hear my voice usually through this microphone for most of my videos where I'm sitting in front of my camera and stationary here. I got my monitor on that side. I can see myself. If you see me looking over to the corner all the time in my videos, it's because I'm looking at the monitor. The big silver blanket thing that you see is just thrown over top. But that's like a blanket reflector. And what that does is it reflects the light back and bounces it up onto me. And so this will help to balance out the lighting, prevent like there being a really strong, harsh shadow underneath my chin from the lights coming down on me. On my desk, I will always have my mirror, my mic, maybe my lens over there. These are the current setting sprays that I like to be using. Over here is kind of my tools or what I reach for very often. I got some scissors, some lash glue. My dirty brushes are over there. And then some lip liners and eyeliners that I like to reach for often. I'll always keep either makeup wipes or right now I have the Huggies. Obviously makeup gets messy. And on this side of my desk, I have my brushes. I don't have all my brushes here. The rest of them are in my makeup collection. But these are the ones that I want to be using often and that I really like. So I separate them with these little pot containers. I think I got those from Ikea. I have my eye brushes, face brushes, and more face brushes. And these are just like randoms, I guess. This is the mirror I use. It's big, but not too big. It's from Lux Box, and the LEDs are actually broken, so I don't even use those. I keep kind of like some little tools in here. I always tweeze my brows, usually before I do my makeup. So this is the bottom part of my desk, and I just have some acrylic baskets to organize my stuff under here. This is just whatever I was using in my video, I'll put in here that I know has to be put back into my collection. This is some products that I reach for very, very often, and they're kind of like my staples. I always go back to them, or I just put products in here that maybe I recently bought, and just stuff that I want to keep using and that I want at the ready. So I'll keep that in this bin. This giant bin here is where I have the hot new products, products that I maybe recently got in PR that I still need to try and that I can't just put in my collection yet because I will forget about them, and then that's just a waste. So a lot of the times, these are the products that maybe I'll include in videos that you guys want to know about because they're brand new or just stuff that I want to play around with and I'm not quite ready to put away yet. And then once I've used it enough or I've gotten my opinion on it or I've done a video on it, then that's when I'll put them into my collection. And then this is just my makeup bag and I keep this pretty full usually. And I throw in here all the products that I use all the time that are my ride or die. Usually the ones that I'll travel with, I'll just keep all of that in there. And then I have this little container full of beauty blenders and beauty sponges. And I have another one here filled with random stuff, you know, maybe my headbands that I use when I do my makeup, charger for my mirror, and like something else random. So on the ground, on either side of me when I'm filming are these two floor projectors that you can pull up 
and keep standing as these white balance kind of projector screens. So they just open up and you pull out the rod, stick it in and then pull up the screen and hook it onto the rod. So I put both of them up on either side and it creates this little cubicle and I'm sitting right in the middle. And then what those are for is it really makes the most of this big light source up here. When you have a white screen on either side, the light's gonna bounce from that light screen and hit the sides of my face. And so it just gives you a really nice, well-rounded lighting. So then you're kind of lit from all angles. You know what I mean? So now I'm getting light from both sides, underneath me and in front of me and behind me as well. And it just gives you this really ideal lighting setup for makeup videos. So this is my little trolley. It is very convenient, it rolls around. I bring it all around the house when I need to. Anytime I'm unboxing packages, I will have this next to me just to put the products into and have them nice and organized, usually by the different levels on there. So the top level right now is brand new products that I just opened in PR this morning. We've got some new CoverGirl lipsticks and a bunch of other stuff that is brand new. And I'll just use this as my temporary crazy chaotic like mess before I can organize my life and get everything in its place. By the way, these little things that you see on every single stand are sandbags. They're not very necessary. I think the only one I, I really think it's super necessary for is this guy right there because it's extended you want to make sure you have something heavy to hold down the stand and also for my monitor my monitor is very heavy and this is also holding the diffuser which is extended out so i also think the sandbags are necessary for that one but for everything else it's kind of extra now we can go over to the bathroom and here i don't really have much makeup i have this mac lipstick stand where i have most of my mac lipsticks i've got like a pink vibe going on in this bathroom but over here is the good stuff this is where my makeup collection is right in this walk-in closet. I've got all of my makeup stored in acrylic drawers with dividers inside most of them. And these containers come in different sizes, different dividers for each one. So I got these acrylic organizers from the container store. If you're Canadian, you can also get them from Solutions. Even though the drawers are see-through, it still really helps to label them so I know where everything is. Right now, I'm just going to give you a general overview of my collection. It just really, really needs to be cleaned out and I have way too much stuff and a lot of it I don't use. Comment down below if you want me to to decluttering video for you guys. I've never done one of those videos, so I just, I don't know if it's what you guys would wanna see. This is my special effects makeup drawer. I have a bunch of beads, glitter, blood, Halloween stuff in there. Here I have all my brushes, medium face brushes, large face brushes, extra large face brushes, and kind of some eye brushes in there. Then we move on to my lipstick columns. I believe these two columns all the way up to here are lipsticks, lip glosses, or liquid lipsticks. So I have the liquid lips here, Too Faced, high-end liquid lipsticks in here. We got some NARS, Ofra, MAC, Kylie Cosmetics, drugstore lip glosses, drugstore lipsticks, high-end lip glosses, Jouer in the back, some more Kylie Cosmetics, MAC, Too Faced, Tarte, high-end lipsticks, and then another lipstick drawer that I still have a lot of space in there to put some new ones. And then we got some drugstore liquid lipsticks in here. Drugstore lipsticks drugstore lipsticks and I just have a lot of lip products so I need to go through all of those decide what I love what I don't love right now they're organized by brand but I'm hoping that maybe I'll be able to declutter enough to be able to just organize it by shade and have maybe one or two products for each shade then over here the highlighters the powders the blushes the bronzers so here's the highlight Becca on that side Mac on this side another highlighter drawer this one split up into six compartments mostly organized by brand another highlight drawer these are more of the drugstore highlights. And then we have my high-end concealers. So we've got a lot of Tarte Shape Tape in there. Some random ones in the back. MAC in the front. Drugstore concealers. Maybelline Age Rewind. One of my favorites. And also the ColourPop concealer is so good. Obviously, I don't need every single shade. So that's why I want to do a decluttering video. Because I just have way too much stuff. You know, when I get stuff in PR to get on with my day, I just kind of just like put it all away. But then obviously it accumulates. And then I have so much makeup that I never use. So that's why I'm going to be doing the declutter very soon. Here I have some more drugstore concealers. Infallible Pro Glow, very good. We've got the Cover It from Models Own, which I also really like. So now let's move on to loose powders. A loose powder drawer. Blushes. These ones are separated mostly by brand. Bronzers. I divided these ones into three separate sections instead of six because I needed more space, obviously. Then we have liquid eyeshadows, which is one of my favorite drawers. I'm always going into this one. I love the heavy metal glitter liners from Urban Decay. I will pop that on literally any shadow. Stila 
liquid shadows are amazing so bomb so i use those all the time and then we have the more like dupes of them i would say we've got the color pop supernova shadows which are really good maybelline's color tattoo this drawer i have some pressed pigments and single eyeshadows i'm not gonna lie to you guys i really barely use single eyeshadows these days i mean there's a few color pop ones that i really really like because they have some glitter in them but for single eyeshadows like i tend to just try and give them away because i know i will never really reach for them unless it's a super unique color or formula that i don't have any of my other palettes then we have some loose pigments in here over here is just like eyeshadow primers and random color correctors and then we have the other wall of my makeup collection over here on the very top i have my eye pencils and my lip liners organizing these acrylic containers that have six different compartments and i try to organize them by color my favorite eyeliner formula definitely has to be from mark jacobs or urban decay has some really good eye pencils the 24 7 glide on eye pencil for lip pencil my favorite brands would probably have to be mac and ColourPop. i really like ColourPop lip liners as well so moving on over here i have my brows and my liquid and gel eyeliners and i just kind of sit those all on top of my collection here very easy to grab and then i have my mascara drawers right here separated by drugstore and high-end and then i have my pressed powder drawers drugstore pressed powders high-end pressed powders powders <laughs> liquid highlighters separated in here. Fenty Puff is just kind of thrown in there. So in the back are kind of the face oils. I'm loving the Farzali Rose Gold Elixir. Tarte Maracuja Oil is very, very good. And then I have the liquid chrome kind of highlight drops. My favorite probably have to be the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops are so good. This mixes really well with any foundation to make it more dewy. I like to wear it on its own. I like to mix it. I can do a lot with this. So it's definitely one of my favorite formulas because it doesn't separate, you know, your foundation or make it look all gross. Highlight stick in the back there and these are just like bottled liquid highlighters then let's move on to the foundation drawers we've just got a bunch of different foundations in there high-end foundations more high-end foundations i've tried to organize by like stick foundations some two-faced born this way then we've got the drugstore foundations in here i love the maybelline superstay liquid foundation and the brand new stick foundation that they came out with is so so good those are probably my favorite drugstore foundations oh and the, this one too i love the l'oreal infallible pro matte and the pro glow one too are my fave last foundation drawer at the bottom here oh it's getting a little hard to open because they get pretty heavy at the bottom i mean covergirl sent me all of the foundations i've yet to try it and they're just kind of all shoved in there so need to do a huge decluttering of all my foundations so now let's move on to eyeshadow palettes honestly this drawer is very difficult to close so i'm not even going to open that it's kind of filled with older palettes and kind of random palettes that I don't reach for that often. And here I have BH Cosmetics, Morphe, and just like affordable palettes. And here I have some more affordable palettes. We've got Sleek Makeup, ColourPop, Love ColourPop palettes, and some random kind of Juvia's Place palettes in here. And then I kind of have the medium-sized drawers for the smaller eyeshadow palettes. I tried to organize them by brand. We've got Urban Decay, we've got Too Faced and Tarte. Another eyeshadow palette drawer. This one's kind of with brands that are more popular, more poppin' products that are highly talked about we got laura lee's palette we got the huda beauty here mac palettes over here fenty beauty so i like to keep all that in that drawer i reach for this drawer pretty often another drugstore palettes drawer so this one's kind of divided into three different sections and by brand so we've got ardell maybelline some covergirl burt's bees you know, and then some more drugstore palettes all the way in the back there. And then we have my face palettes. So on the bottom, so there's a bunch of different brands. I mostly organize this by, you know, the palette sizes. More face palettes. These ones are more so like blushes and contour palettes. We've got the drugstore face palettes. We have a bunch of sleek makeup. I was thinking about doing like a full face testing type of video. So I have a bunch of their products. And then this one's not yet labeled, but I kind of have randoms, some empty palettes there if I want to do some depotting. Some random palettes that like didn't fit in the other drawers. Then we have my lash drawers up here. Drugstore lashes over here. Love Kiss lashes. I love Ardell lashes. And then there's some MAC lashes in the very back there. And this section is separated because these are my used lashes that I can continue to keep using, but I don't want them mixed in with the brand new ones. Another lash drawer. This one has more high-end lashes. We've got Bellamy, Morphe, Lily lashes. All-time favorite lashes are for sure Lily lashes and Huda Beauty lashes. Coco lashes are also very good. Almost done. We've got the primer drawer. We have them separated by high-end or drugstore. I can't 
let this go, it's gonna fall. But we've got the drugstore over there, high end, more high end in the back. And then we've got the setting sprays, which are separated drugstore on this side, high end on that side. Here is where I'll hang all of my fabric backdrops. I hang them on these hangers for your pants. I got those off Amazon. And it's just a really good way to keep them from wrinkling and to keep them all so you can see them at once and kind of flick through them. And then on this shelf up here, I have all my tech stuff and miscellaneous items. I have like a drone in there, extra lenses. And in this one is where I put all my items that I want to give away. I have quite a bit in there. I do want you to go over to my Instagram right now because when this video is uploaded, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Obviously, you guys know I have a ton of makeup and I try and donate and give away as much of it as possible that I'm not using so it doesn't go to waste. Go follow my Instagram right now so you can have a chance to win a bunch of goodies. And on top of my collection up here, I have these black boxes and these organize all of my sunglasses. I found them on Amazon. I can kind of just like flick through the different levels and choose whatever sunglasses I may want that day. And I just like that because they're stackable. If you ever get more sunglasses, you know, you can just buy another one and just keep stacking them And that's basically my entire closet all my makeup collection that being said I know that there's so much makeup here, but keep in mind. This is my job I'm supposed to be reviewing products at brands send me their products their full collection Sometimes just know that I'm always donating to women's shelters I'm giving away to you guys giving away to friends like none of this just sits here And when I do notice that it's kind of just sitting here like I have a lot of products here that I know I will not use I'm gonna do a decluttering and go through every single drawer and just completely get rid of stuff that I know I don't need. So all right, you guys, that's all for my beauty room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. If I get enough likes, who knows? Maybe we can do an apartment tour next. I've been itching to do one of those because I've been working really hard decorating my apartment. And lastly, check out one of these other videos of mine. If you haven't seen them yet, just click on one of these boxes and keep the marathon going. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button too. I mean, why not? You're ready, you're ready clicking stuff click the subscribe button. But that's it. Get out of here. I have nothing else to say. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.